So this is this moment of King in, in King of Kings Church. On this day, the 17th of October, 2021, let it be emblazoned in church history. Let this be to us what Martin Luther King's speech was at the Ebenezer Baptist Church. Because he said, we will overcome. He did. And what are we trying to overcome, sir? Something that transcends race. It's time for a miracle to happen. This time it's not Henry Ford. It's the church of God in Christ. This time it is not William Boeing. It is the assemblies of God. This time it is not Henry Ford. But it is the independent, spirit-filled churches of America that have got to realize that Satan is at the door. Satan's hand is coming on the throat of your child. And that God has decided that it doesn't matter what you think about the end of the world. It doesn't matter how you interpret Revelation. It doesn't matter whether you believe in total immersion, baptism, or spot removing. What matters is, is that the devil is at the door and we're going to rebuke him and drive him back in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. I'm going to tell you, two Jewish boys got together one day. One was the son of the king. And he said to his armor bearer in 1 Samuel 14, 6, with a million people coming at him, and there's no weapons in Israel, that's our moment. And he said, let us go over to the garrison of these Philistines. Two boys against a million. Two against a million. And he said... Perhaps the Lord will work for us. For nothing restrains God, whether to save by few or to save by many. This man of God and this woman of God want us to bring our tent to this area. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Let's get out of the church and go down to the enemy. For there is nothing restraining God to save by few or to save by many. I love what happened next. They hid behind a rock. And as many armies do, they, they are in legions, a thousand soldiers in a square. And there are squares of a thousand men as far as you can see that way, that way, and that way. They're hiding behind a rock. And Jonathan says to his armor bearer, we're going to hide behind this rock. And all of Israel had gone, and according to 1 Samuel 13, they're hiding in rock, in caves, in thickets. And some of them had actually joined the enemy army. And so... Jonathan and his armor bearer look at each other and Jonathan says, here's how we're going to do it. You take half a million, I'll take half a million. But first of all, we got to kill somebody so you can have a sword as well as me. Now, they get up from behind the rock and Jonathan said, I'm going to make a face at them. I won't do that. I'm going to make a face at them and if they tell me come over, we'll show you something, then we know that God has given them into our hands. You see, but if they say stay there, we'll know today is not the day. I'm sitting there thinking, what would I ask God for as a sign that I should attack a million men? with a guy next to me who doesn't even have a weapon. 
See, we can sing about the impossible. We can sing it. But is it getting down in your spirit right now that God could literally raise us up, give us wisdom, and show us how to turn back the darkness and see a miracle? Do you believe God can do that? All right. Then come with me. Here he is. He gets up, makes the face, and they say, look, the Jews have come out of hiding. That's what he said. And then he said, come over here and we'll show you something. And Jonathan is shaking his armor bearer. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's a sign from God. And they charged them. The Bible says they jumped over the rock and went in there and started attacking. One Philistine dead. Now both of them have swords. Within a moment, the Bible tells us that 24 men had been killed. And the armor bearer is slain right behind Jonathan. And then something begins to happen. There's a roar in the camp. There's a roar in the camp. And one of the older Philistines says to another Philistine, do you see the look in their eye? Israel hasn't had that look in a long time. That look in those boys' eyes is the look that they had when the Ark of the Covenant would come into the battle. That look in their eye is the, the look of Jehovah God. And it's the sound of somebody who's heard the shofar and is ready to go. And they're not going to back down. And he, so then they started to kill on this side and on that side. Something remarkable happened. The men who were Jewish that were in the Philistine army ripped off the insignia of Philistia and began to fight with their brethren. We're going to watch churches that can't stand each other suddenly tear off their denominational tag come on somebody and they started fighting then it got louder Two boys are still alive, still killing people. One of the Philistines decides to run up and warn the rest. Run for your life. There are two of them. <laughs> if any two of you shall agree is touching anything on earth. I'm going to try it again. If any two of you shall agree is touching anything on earth. It will be done. Now. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, King Saul is standing there, and they hear a noise coming from over there. And they hear this noise. These are the men who were, the Bible says, they were 700 of them, and they were trembling. Now, Someone asked, Saul said, what's that noise? He said, that's your son doing your job. Somebody help me right now. And that, and okay, let's try it. It's not the man who says your mama, right? It's the guy behind him. So you're standing there, you're the king. That's your son doing your job. That's a big one right there. Am I right? That's a big one. And he takes his men and said, let's go. They join the battle. Then it, the news spread into the rocks, the thickets, the caves. Those Jews got up. And then God got happy and threw in an earthquake. And the ground is moving. 
And when you're in an earthquake and you're in the army of God, you know that ground is moving in your favor. And you're not scared. But the Philistines began to kill each other out of confusion. And two Jewish boys defeated one million soldiers. Somebody shout right there. 